our next topic in uh, module 4 is scheduling strategies if we consider the scheduling of time allocation on a single gpu there are two basic strategies we have you can see the, in the slide that is cyclic and preemptive so the first one is cyclic so uh, here in a, in this fashion in this strategy cpu is allocated to a task uh, for example, take task 1. The CPU is allocated for task 1 unless and until the task 1 uses the, completely uses the CPU, then only the CPU will be allocated to a next task. That means the scheduler will allocate to allocate the CPU to a next task unless and until the assigned or the scheduled task is no longer requires that CPU. So this is a very simple strategy and efficient. The main disadvantage of this is it is only suitable for small embedded system for which the execution time of the each task is um, very less as well as um, here the different task. It is suitable for a task which will be having approximately the uh, task completion time will be approximately the same. So only for but we, in real time system, it will not be the case. There will be a task with a different time intervals. So that is the reason we go for next type of task that is preemptive task. So this is. So this you call it as preemptive task. So first let us see what is meant by preemptive. That is here the task can be interrupted before it can be complete. The task can be interrupted even it is not completed. That is before the completion of the complete work of the task, it might get interrupted. That is the reason we call it as preemptive. Before it is completing the particular task, it might get interrupted. So, this is also called as the because of this, since the task is preempted before its completion, the volatile environment, that is, whatever the contents or the status of that particular task, has to be stored somewhere in the cpu that means this mechanism should be taken care by the uh, operating system this you call it as context switching so the simple form of preemptive uh, strategy is nothing but a time slicing this is a simple strategy so this time slicing approach you also called as round robin approach it is also called as round robin method. So here, using this strategy, each task is allocated a fixed amount of CPU. So you have three tasks, for example. So each task is allocated the CPU for fixed amount of time or fixed amount of clock pulses, clock time or the clock pulses. Here we call it as ticks, that is fixed number of ticks. So for a particular that particular duration of time, the CPU is allocated to this task. So after this, next the CPU will be allocated to second task. Next the CPU will be allocated to third task. That means depending upon the that you call it as time slicing. That is you are dividing the time and allocating that for a particular task. That means for that particular number of clock pulses or particular amount of time, the CPU is allocated to each and every task so once this particular task once the time is completed whether the task is completed or not completed it will be allocated to the next task if the task is completed before the 
time duration then it will be next task will be allocated and how these tasks here most of the uh, task in real time operating system have a priority scheduling mechanism that means depending upon which task is having the highest priority that particular task will be allocated the cpu after the completion of one task so that priority mechanism in real time system is of two types that is static priority and dynamic priority so what is static priority here the priority of the task is fixed so that means if task 1 is first priority, task 2 second priority, task 3 third priority, this order is fixed in case of static priority system. Whereas in case of dynamic priority system, the priorities can be changed even during the execution time. Clear? Dynamic priority system can increase the flexibility of the system. That means you can change the priority. Uh, for example, uh, however, if there will be uh, some alarming condition or risky condition in a real-time system, at that time you can change the priority of the task so that that particular task will be uh, serviced first. So that means you can change the priorities even when the task is in the running or the, when the task is executing. So that you call it as dynamic priority. I hope you understood the two different scheduling strategies that is cyclic and preemptive. Cyclic, once uh, each and every task uses the CPU, then only it will give it to the that task may take uh, whatever the time it requires. Once the task completes its work, then only it is allocated to a different task. Whereas in case of preemptive, depending upon the priorities, each and every task is given a specified amount of time and CPU is allocated to that particular task. Thank you.